Hi guys, my name is Cherry. Welcome and in, into the channel. Welcome into another episode of Witcher 3 Well Hunt. Today we're gonna start a little bit different. Uh because of I had the small problems in the end of the last when I was recording the last episode. Uh I'm gonna be starting from the loading the game a little bit earlier than last episode end. Uh so we can have a full um experience talking to Unifer. Uh, I do apologize for that. I have no idea that I have some kind of problems with recording. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. <laughs> so much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. started excuses excuses you've not changed a bit y yen how i received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in white orchard i knew it was you looking for me I might have waited until you found me, but I you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. Mm. It's good to see you, Geralt. I I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? <laughs> Sorry. I wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilf Guardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Why Vizima? We can talk here. Some charming orchards mm -hmm. nearby. In bloom even. So you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse. I didn't. Though I could have. Um, uh, suppose I can hear him out. What? Wonder what he offers you. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for, and even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Caremore. Remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. See you soon, Vesemir. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Yay! Experience point. Bye, Vesemir. No, 
dream about you recently. Knowing you, it's <laughs> <a bit> filthy. <laughs> I like them together. The beginning, but then. But then. <gasps> oh my god, the snow again. <gasps> oh, hunt. Well, how do you can. I thought it was a dream. Okay. Vizima kept a little occupied to Maria. Big city. Cool. This is the point of the game. I don't remember anything. I'm like, this is from this point, everything is blind. The first city, first village, I kind of slightly has a piece of there, I remember it, but this is all brand new for me. The ladies. Cool bath. Hmm. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his imperial majesty by his full mm -hmm. title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. Bergère. Oh, what now? <laughs> In that chair. Catherine, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. <laughs> Something wrong with my beard? What's wrong with my beard? I always thought it added to my dignity. It mm -hmm. does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please, and sit still. How goes it? The preparations for the audience proceeding as planned? Yes, General. The gentleman will be more or less presentable. Who's this guy? He a barber too? <laughs> no. Mouvran Voris. Commander of the Alba Division. Yennefer's escort. They were my men. All of them. Indeed, were. For none have returned to Vizima, have they? I truly wonder what happened on the road yesterday. Perhaps you could enlighten me. You have time. And a uh, razor to your throat. You men die in battle as the soldiers. Your men died in battle, as soldiers tend to. I see their fate does not trouble you overly. True, but I'm guessing the fate of those whose country they invaded didn't overly trouble them. Nordlings, we can bathe you, shave you, and clothe you, but teaching you manners, that will be a challenge. Nice meeting you too. <laughs> Shall I shave him once more against the grain? No. He himself is very much against the grain. That's enough. Farewell, Witcher. Or rather, see you soon. Good. Now the gentleman may dress. 
Oh, the gentleman may dress. Thank you for shaving. I see the butcher is very happy. Girl is. Oh, you can choose the clothes? Cool. I like the third one, or first one. Any color as long as the black? <laughs> black, black, black. <laughs> mm. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Okay, the gentleman will choose the outfit now. <laughs> okay, we have to choose the outfit. Uh, this or I swear I got. I feel like oh, this one. I like this one. This uh, okay, we are set up. Where is gentleman? Here's a gentleman. And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Uh, I suppose so. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough. When in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? How mm -hmm. my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Confirm? I'm not a boar. I know how to buy a bow. Confirm away. Um. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. That, sir is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner not to the emperor of Nilfgaard oh wow <laughs> please watch leg extended hand flat head down chin to chest the gentleman will rehearse uh let me forward Wait. oh Mm, lacking fluidity and grace, but we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. Okay. Follow the Chamberlain. The okay. gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I think the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Yes, sir. Hello, Your Majesty. In Grimmy et Art Cat. Daifen Aden in Karn et Marvut. Emir Bar Emreis. Wow. Wow. Oh, I didn't know there's a time decision, line decision. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian nomin, vat gun favot. Okay. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. <laughs> <laughs> Take it, you didn't summon. Bingo, 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 bingo. Yes, a bingo. Silence. <gasps> Silence. I kill you. My daughter Cyrilla. She's returned. <gasps> and she's in it's danger. a city father. Her. You will find her and bring her to me. Okay. Why me? How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me. 
Yes. She has a very picture of being looking for her. angry child. <laughs> making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. <laughs> Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Uh, need more information. I'm only doing this for Siri. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me. Only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. Okay. This audience is finished. Merrid. Merrid. Oh, hello. Take him to the sorceress. Bye. We shall meet again. Follow me, if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman disgusts. <laughs> Follow the gentleman, okay. Oh, hello. You have a big head. Oh, whoa. They have a hat to look like a bunny. I'm sorry, but they do. They have a bad head. Helms look like they bunnies. Okay, um. I do. Yes, yes, yes. Where is Yennefer? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchants' guild. Yennefer, my oh, hello, my love. Geralt, that tunic. You look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different <laughs> circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Emir's court? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look. That's more or less what she looks like now. Or so <gasps> our agents claim. Our little wow. witch has grown into a young lady. She's very pretty. Uh, so there are our agents now? Huh. So there are our agents now? My, my. You've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Emir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice, so please, let's not belabor the pros and cons, and instead focus on finding Siri. All right? All right, all right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe, before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the wild hunt does. Okay, so where's Siri been seen? So where's Siri been seen exactly? In two places, Velen and Novigrad. Okay. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should okay. make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it. No passwords, secret handshakes. None. 
Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about mm -hmm. the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Siri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Okay. Um, we probably part. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Um, uh, tempted to get going. <laughs> She's angry. I guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vel and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Mm -hmm. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Bessemer roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. Aww. I shall be waiting. Kissy, kissy, kissy. Uh, retrieve your equipment from Chamberlain. He says that I should talk to Ambassador. Ambassador Varatra. Jennifer suggested I ask you about current events, war, and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. Okay. How the war is going? How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. That a note is what I hear. That admiration I hear in your voice? Radovid is our foe, but I cannot deny he is clever. He played us for fools, particularly dense ones at that. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses, unprecedented even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. 
has a one eye bigger than the other. What is the situation in Velen? Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever, perhaps worse. Mm. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times, trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm -hmm. So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well. Avoid him. Okay. Uh, what is uh, new in Novigrad? Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes. Although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships, and Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather, well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance and scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. Uh, what the latest from Skelliger? What's new in Skelliger? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome. But nothing more. Skelliger has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Thank you for your help. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Well, thank you. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to all... Step. Step by step. <laughs> what shall become... I can take it. Ooh, I can loot this place. Loot, 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 loot. Loot, loot. Loot, loot. Hello? Can we loot this too? I'm gonna be very smart. Very smart. Okay, I need book. Oh, book. Another book. Lots of book. Swords for witches. Too bad that this book doesn't give me anything like they do in um, Skyrim. I wish that was like that. Okay. Ooh, smoking pot and dry fruits. I'll take that. I need to eat. Um, Ambassador, you don't mind if I loot everything you have here? No. Like, there's lots of. Ooh. I think that. Since I can. And then I found the end of her chest. Oh, that's the stuff, me. Okay.
Mm, we have that already with this. Okay, I think we got... This. Scars healed nicely. Okay. Let's get our stuff. Mm -mm. Oh, Jamberling! What are you? I'm gonna be so happy to see me. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound. As soon as possible. Yeah. Mentioned something of the sort. So long. Okay. Uh, let's see if we have some weapon. Dear friends. Where is my weapon? Here. Oh, I cannot wear that. Require a level and Oh my goodness! Yes, please. Uh, how are we doing? Yeah. Uh, this... 25, 29. Thank God we are loot this place, guys. Oh my God. How wonderful it is. Whoa! Whoa. Uh, what we can have? Witcher. 29, 29. 40 to 50. And this is a long one. No, level 2. Okay, and we got this. Require. A magic item. Oh, I can... Um, this one has a slot. But... This one is a little bit. I'm gonna take this for now. Chest is done. Okay, we did this and changed that. Um, so we have some money. Okay, do we, uh, can we do anything with all of me? Oh, we need a flask. No, we cannot do anything. We're getting missing. Crafting. <sighs> Crafting component. Wait, I think we can do something. All power present. Um, then... Oh, I have to. I cannot craft it here, right? Only blacksmith. Okay, cool. With all the stuff we found. Siri, hi Siri. You look beautiful, girl. Okay. Thank you. Oh, there's a there is a talk to someone. Sorry. To you? Yeah. Mm. Ooh, get the Gwen. Let's do that. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. Okay. Let's see if we can win. Oh, uh, we got one dummy. I'm gonna take that. Start the game. Okay. Your opponent will go first. Okay. Okay. Or and spy. Your turn.
No. God damn it. I don't have any choice. I have to just doing this. Let's try again. It's gonna be a hard one. Okay, let's play again. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. first okay mm, nice okay He has a fight, I have one. Damn. He's gonna win. again. Okay, let's play again. Do we have anything? Okay. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. We don't win this. I have to win this. Oh, I'll go first. Great. Okay.
It was stupid. Okay. I think I lose this. I get better cards. go back to this guys I feel like I have to have a better card okay we crossed the Yara we will cross the Ponta as well okay we can leave this play Oh, fast travel. I only can do fast travel? Okay. Yo. Travel to Walmart. We want to go here. Ellen. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited. But something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. The book dedicated to the monster type provide more information about the fight them. Okay, so there is some kind of bonus for reading the books. That's cool. It's not that what is in the Skyrim, but it's always something. Pretty Velen, Northern Temeria, five days later. It's like a full atmosphere. Hi, Crow. Birdy birds. Oh, God. Hello. Hello, skeleton. Oh, God. What a pretty tree. Okay. Uh, Hearts of the Stone. Thank you for pushing Heart of Stone expansion. The currently tracking quest has been changed to the first quest of Heart Stone. Yet we only recommend the starters if your character level is level 30. What is that? Um, you, while playing the Heart of Stone expansion, you can encourage a run rate marked by the icon on your map. Okay, there's a new craft. But, uh, since we're not level 30 yet, I shall do... Uh, go to... 
Yeah, Evil Soft first. This is a Hearthstone. Okay. Uh, but we have so many things to do. This is level five. Find out Siri in, found if Siri uh, is in Scalic Velen and Novigard. Call up them all. It's a Gwen card. And we have to win the card. Okay. So we have this first. Um, let's go to... Ooh, there's something here. No, let's go first here. Um, to the town, to the village. Um, very slowly. But that's something attacking me. It was just a wolf. And that was a pretty music. <laughs> oh, we cannot collect the, the... No, no, no. Who wants to fight? And why? Whoa, there is a bad doggy wall doggy. Maybe I think with you was bad. I do. So I feel like I'm Whoa, 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 T. Hey, just the wall dogs. Do not eat me, do not eat me, do not eat me. Please don't eat me. They let me alone. But that wild dogs were crazy strong. Look at that, Malve. Pretty. Apshik, not at all. Not at all. Okay, guys, this is where I'm gonna end today. Thank you so much for watching. We have a lot of things to do in the next episode.